Hey everyone, MTAST here, and this video is sponsored by Summoner's War Lost in Turia. I'm going to be playing it today, I'm going to be checking it out, a new gacha game, and uh, I actually think it's really unique, there's some pretty cool battle systems that I really enjoyed in it, and uh, I also have a little clan if you want to join it as well. Links are down below if you want to download it, and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, there are a bunch of log and rewards and different challenges. There are events going on right now, so if you just jump in and play, you are going to earn some free stuff. And there are some legendary stuff you can get here on day 15, and then on day 10, you can get a legendary card, which is going to be a massive boost to your account. So click the link down below and download it. Now, in Lost Interior, there's a bunch of different monsters to collect, and if you end up getting duplicates of some of the monsters, you can actually use that to level them up and make them stronger, which is pretty sweet. And uh, some of the characters, they do get a lot more powerful as you level them, and they also have these skill stones that can have kind of different passive effects, and they can completely change how strong a monster is. So even if it's like a rare monster, uh, it can go from kind of a mid-tier to a top-tier uh, monster. So you can choose your main formation as you jump into a match, but I wanted to talk about the ability system. The full battle is automated. You go in and everyone just battles, but then you choose your different abilities for the different characters. Now, if I use an ability, let's say I use his ability, if the other person I'm fighting uses theirs right after, they kind of counter it and they actually use theirs first, which is really interesting. It's one of the, I've never seen anything like it. And so if they use a big attack, this girl Cleo, I can actually go invulnerable and block a bunch of the damage. And so there's some kind of counterplay. You can spam your abilities or you can kind of wait and try to be reactive. So let's just jump in and I'll kind of make note of it when it happens. Okay, so my team is, is gonna stomp them. Uh, I've got a pretty damn good team. But what I can do is use these abilities and I can try to time it for when they're using it. So boom, counter. So I actually use my ability first. I get a shield and now he's attacking me, right? And so I just absorbed that whole shield. Now I'm gonna pop an ability, and he countered me. So he got his ability off before I did mine. And, and it's it's pretty cool. I, I think it's actually pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to just save this. Okay, invulnerable. Boom, block it. And now his ability does nothing. It's, it's, it's pretty sick. Now I'm gonna just one bang everything. This guy's gross, he ignores the fence. Oh, chunked him. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Some abilities, like this one, it just gives me attack and speeds up. It doesn't matter that much. But, she tried to heal her. Is she gonna die? No, didn't, didn't kill her. But in a situation like that, when she was going to heal, I would have killed the, the unit before they got the heal off, which is pretty sweet. So, I like that. It, it, it adds some dynamic uh, gameplay to it. And there's a lot of PvP in this game. They actually do tournaments for it, uh, just kind of online, global tournaments. And uh, you can, like, do a ban phase. Hold on, is it going to kill him? Oh! See, if I would have killed that guy before he hit me, he would have been dead. I like it. I've never seen anything like it. I've never played a game that had a uh, mechanic like that. So I have a pretty solid team here with some epics. Um, but I haven't spent any money on it yet. I just jumped in. I've used all my free summons, and they give you a lot. Especially if you're doing these different events. Like, this adds up really quick. Win one time in the wanted game mode. That, that's the one I can just do. That's really easy to do. Craft a ruin one time. That's another wish I can go do. So I'm gonna go do that really quick, and then we're gonna see if we get any new characters. As you progress and you play, uh, you can do these siege battles where you fight kind of a boss, but then you can fight them and kind of farm them for materials uh, over here. I'm gonna shield up from this so I don't die. Hopefully that keeps me alive for a while. And then I'm gonna hopefully counter. So I just got invulnerable, completely countered his spell with that. That, that was just, it might as well have not even happened, which is amazing. Okay, well that sucks. Actually, wait, I was still invulnerable. So I just canceled two spells with that. Easy game. Big hit. Okay, so we got that reward and now we get hero card times two. Someone new, please? Someone new, please? Who's this? Big boy. Copper. Hammer Crash strikes the frontline enemies to inflict damage that is proportionate to your defense. If your defense is 50% or higher than the targets, the attack will ignore their defense. So I can make myself really tanky and then potentially hit like a truck even though I'm tanky. So that's pretty fire. And then what's this? Oh, so I ended up... So that just means I can level them up. I got 60 bad boys. I'm gonna see if I can get anything new. 
Fog. <laughs> Fog. This isn't rigged, by the way. Someone new? Someone new? Throws the Fox Orb to the enemy granted with beneficial effects and steals the effects. The stolen effects will be granted to all allies and recover the HP of all allies by a proportion of the damage dealt. So the other team is buffing, I steal it, give it to everyone else, and heal. Worth? And we got a common basic baby. Okay, basic. A basic. Oh, this is a new guy. Attacks the frontline enemies to freeze them, and it grants immunity and defense two on yourself. I mean, freeze is good to CC them, stop them from attacking you. Hit me with your best shot. Another purple? The rates are up, boys. Something new. Something, another new one. Although, maybe I'm being greedy. Pog, dude? Okay, mommy. Hello? Hwa! Burning Whip attacks the enemy with the lowest HP to inflict damage. It burns the opponent uh, summoner's mana by two if the enemy gets defeated. So this is like how much mana, mana, uh, and ability costs. So like, I could stop them from using abilities if I was able to spam that a little bit. That's not bad. That's pretty powerful if I, uh, if I time it right. Hey, we got a green. No. What is this? Oh, I think this is a, it's like a skill card. Skill stone increases max HP by 20%. Oh, and you also get other free summons just from playing like regular matches. And uh, like, I'm just doing a triple summon right now. You just get this from playing PVP matches. Summons, I can level stuff up. Um, okay, sure. Oh, okay, I guess we'll take 500 of them. All right, so the goal, we're gonna buff with this. We're gonna go invincible with this. Get the buff, boom. And they countered it, classic. Now, the next time they use an ability, I counter it. Get the hell away from me. Nice try, boom. Okay, we'll take it. We're gonna stun. Beautiful. And now, if they buff, I can't really do anything about that. We're gonna have to just leave it. If I kill this, it takes their energy away. Okay, so they got minus two energy. Speed up again. And now, if they get a buff, I wanna steal it. Okay, attack up, immunity, mana cost down. So I can steal this. That's kind of cracked, bro. And now we're gonna hit with this while we're boosted. Huge. That's actually pretty sick. Huge. I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna kill him. So he didn't finish his attack. And then it steals their energy. Dude, this is kind of naughty. This is a little bit nutty. This is a little touch nutty. Well, like that, finish it up. Go invincible so I don't die. And there's the win. There's the win. Easy game, easy game, boys. Now there's also a mission office if you want to send some of your units to go get resources for crafting and there's a crafting building if you want to make different ruins. Uh, these will give you different stats to upgrade your different monsters so you're obviously going to want to invest a lot of resources into this. I'm personally hoarding mine for now uh, until I get a little bit further into the game. Now they've also got a shop and sometimes they'll actually have purple units in here that you can just buy straight up for like I think it's like 250 or maybe 350. And that's where I got some of mine from, and they're really strong. Like, my Cleo character, that's where I got the one that makes everyone invulnerable. So definitely save some of your uh, crystals.
Now, I did create an alliance or a guild, so if you guys want to join the MTash one, it's free to join. I'll make sure to log in and boot anyone that hasn't played in a long time, and I'll try to keep that as up to date as I can. But download the game with the link down below, and you can join our alliance, and we can help each other out. You can actually go over here, and uh, in the trading post, you can, like, ask for cards. So, let's say you're almost leveling a particular card, you can help them out and give it to them. So, like... If there's someone on here, this Finn character, I don't really need it. I can support them. I can help them out, right? I don't really need these characters. Sure, you can take them all. And then you get currency, which you can then take to the Alliance shop and maybe buy some stuff that you want. So you can buy hero cards. You can get some summoning stones. Um, so you can take some of those resources. You can help out the other people in the clan, and then you get rewarded for it. So it's pretty sweet overall. Join the alliance, and uh, we can hopefully get some banger, banger cards. So there you go, guys. This was Summoner's War Lost Centuria. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And if you haven't already, please click that link down below and download the game. It helps me out tremendously if you guys download it. It is free to play, and uh, I think it's pretty fun. Go dabble. See if you like it. I mean, I gave you a pretty quick showcase, but until you try it yourself, it's tough to say. Thanks again, and I will see you guys later. Okay? Bye-bye. I gotta stomp these guys real quick. Just, just, just really, just, just really quick. Okay. Bye-bye.